uh, Orchard Core projects, we needed um, uh, Swagger. So I made this small uh, module. It's basically just a wrapper um, around Swagger. So we have an abstraction which you can use to uh, um, um, filter your uh, uh, document. So and a feature to enable uh, the um, first question. Yeah. Why Sorry, do you call no. it Swagger and not Open API? Yeah, good question. I don't know. Because, because it's we, a were name, right? we, we, we were implementing Swagger, but I don't know. We can, we can call it Open API. Yeah. It it looks more uh, sounds more professional, and I think it's, yeah. a, new, it's a new name. So yeah, but the Open API is still in beta. But if, if you don't have any problem with it, nope. we we can call it Open API because they changed all the namespaces to Open API. Yeah, so, so that, that's fine. That's see? fine. We can do that. That's fine. Okay, cool. So. make a love agency. Create a new site. Then you enable the, uh, the Swagger documentation. It will, um, yeah, it will basically show up. So here. There are two features, so the, the base uh, API, so, so a swagger, uh, so we will call it open API, so the base functionality, and then this registers the uh, Orchard uh, internal uh, APIs, because maybe you don't want, uh, the, or even you host uh, 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 like a microservice on top of Orchard, you don't want those APIs showing in your Swagger documentation. So I made it a feature. So let's enable it. And then you can go to Swagger and then they will show up. And for each, you can make uh, your own uh, like definition, right? So you, here I created the Orchard Core definition and I cheated a bit here, but <laughs> but then you can um, um, make your own like a, open API document and they will show up as a, as a, oh sorry, and here. So you can make multiple API documents and that show up there. So, so, that's, each, that's so really each, nice. It's, it's a small, small, such a small module. So each module should have its own um, document. I would prefer it like that, but you can also say just give me everything, and then it's fine too. No, but I mean that the makes sense. No, the, because they are independent. Yeah. Modules are independent, so I yes. should. That's the goal, right? That you, I, yeah, I, you could. Mm -hmm. I can make more uh, definition because when you enable tenants which also has an API. Um, and I want you to show us how you made that in the tenants module. Just to see what it looks like if you're a module developer to provide a Swagger endpoint, or a Swagger definition for the endpoint. So Swagger. Now, enable. right now, yeah, right now. So tenants is... setup, okay, create setup, good. And, and yeah. go in the tenants module to show us the Swagger. There's nothing in the tenants module. Why? This is done via the auto discovery from, from I see. Internet. I see. So this is the, the feature that is the second one that you showed. Hmm? Yeah. So we turn. Yeah. Yeah. Because if I turn that. And then you off, find all the endpoints. Yeah. And then you can filter the endpoints based on your uh, preference. Uh, so when you say I only want to show like Orchard Core. 
then you say name is like uh, starts with. I see because all our something, yeah. Uh, because all the actions start with Orchard Core, you can filter it as this way. Yeah, 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 like that. But right now I cheated a bit. I say true, display everything. But if you want, what we did is we also created a, a iSwagger API definition and not turned on the Orchard Core one. So our uh, microservice just shows uh, what we want and not the Orchard Core ones. But you could create a document for uh, content, queries, tenants, and keep it separate per module. So that inside the module, you just create a, a, a Swagger API definition, and then it's then it's done. You register it as a feature. You say uh, dependent on uh, Swagger, a uh, new document. So then you have nice documentation of your uh, APIs. Okay. I think I think we should have features for for this so you and a meta feature so feature for each module to expose the endpoints to the swagger documentation so tenants queries yeah, and content. Content. Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. That's fine. Just as an example, because then tomorrow, if we want to add Swagger for another module, we know how to do that. And maybe, as you said, if you have your own application, you don't want to expose the Orchard to the Swagger documentation. You want just mm -hmm. to expose yours. So this way, because there are features, you just don't enable the tenant Swagger, ten, or sorry, tenant Web API, content Web API, oh, sorry, content Open API, and so on. Yeah. But you just enable your feature, and maybe yeah. to make it easy, maybe also people want all the endpoints from Orchard, so we should also have a feature that is called Orchard Core Open API oh. endpoints yeah. that will reference all the other features, so that. Okay. Okay. You see? Okay. I write it down. So a meta meta feature that includes everything. That, in, that that's what you did, which is yeah. all the API endpoints for Marshall Core. Yeah. And also a feature for each of them. That will be perfect, I think, because this way I could just enable the ones I want, or all the ones for Marshall, or just mine. And we and we call it uh, open API. Yeah. Instead of Swagger. And if you disagree, you can. I just just my my thoughts. No, no. Like I said, uh, when <laughs> when people from the Orchard Core group tell me something, then I just follow because I think they're experts and wonderful people. So, but when people <laughs> just do what I say without even thinking, I think that it might be an issue because I can't be right all the time. <laughs> yeah, okay. So here we want like Orchard Core Swagger, Swagger API definition. It should have multiple pills, like Open API. Uh, content, open API, tenants, yeah. open yeah. API. Yes, yeah. that's the way to do that because it will depend yeah. on the other ones, so it contains nothing, it just references yeah. the one to one. Yeah, that's fine, that's fine. I can but do, oh, it. do it. Does it need to reference? It could reference, yeah, it could reference them after all, yeah. So basically, that would mean that I would add one file per module, and that's it. A file, let me think. What do people yeah, think? Because that. because in GraphQL we don't do that. In GraphQL we just enable everything because GraphQL is enabled, and it's not an issue. And tomorrow if we have mutations, eh, you know, no, no, keep, yeah, make it simpler. Keep the feature that enables the API endpoints and just for Orchard with the prefix that you made. And then if you just want to, I think that's what you did. What you did is good as long as it's prefixing for the Orchard core. Then that's mm -hmm. okay because this way, if you have your own feature for your own app, it will be another feature. As long as we can do that, that's fine. As long as we can have either my application and or the Orchard Core ones, mm -hmm. I think it's so. Fine. Keep it, keep it in one feature. Yeah, because we can so, we can manage permissions to prevent people from calling it, and that's fine. So like this. Yeah, I think so. But just rename it to Open API. Yeah, that's, I agree. I yeah. agree. So explain again the difference between the two features. This I, one, it, 
this one is just includes the libraries and sets the um, enables the middleware, right? And this provides the document to host the, the in page the, to host in the middleware. Yeah, yeah. The, the 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 nice page that you showed us is the yeah. second one. Okay. So now now it's empty because I did not enable any API documentation. And when I enable it, it will hook into the framework. And then this is my this is the way to make Swagger modular. So this you know I mean? this so page see? this page which feature is that? So this, this just enables the middleware, and this enables the document you see in the in the page. Okay, and if I just enable the middleware, I can still send open API queries and it will work. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, just to know. Okay. So I will name it to open API, but it was. Do you want also the URL to change in open API? But I think well, this was what, not what's, Swagger. What's the standard? The standard is Swagger. <laughs> Everybody knows Swagger. Well, they changed it to open API, but the, the, for me, everybody, even uh, I work a lot with uh, with Java guys, they say also, hey, do you have Swagger definition? Nobody um, says, okay. give, give me an open API definition. Everybody says, hey, do you have a Swagger file? But okay. I will ask Probably. around also. So I, will, I will ask, so Jasmine says open API is a standardization. I will ask. Yeah, yeah, but in the new in the new namespace, it's all open open API and follow, Microsoft. Yeah, is, follow the new and thing. Microsoft, yeah, Microsoft is actively pushing it. So okay, do it then. Okay, we'll thank do. you. Thanks a lot. Good job. You're welcome.